everyone, I want to quickly show you guys um, the, the new junk journal kit. It's still under construction. This box here, I'm just kind of throwing stuff in there. Um, this one here is going to be a vintage floral theme junk journal kit. This one is totally different than the other ones. Um, I will have an ephemera kit in it, um, which that will have these kind of pieces in there, which I can show later, but a bunch more things in the pack. It's like 15 plus items. Some of the things are handmade by a few shops that I've added into it that I purchased from um, and things like that. But this kit is different in a few ways. Um, I wanted to make sure I provided, because I've asked around, you know, uh, some ideas of what you guys are looking for and would like for your next kits. Obviously you want variety, um, you want quality items. Um, I've had a lot of people ask for totally vintage items, which this kit will have that. Um, and um, the biggest one was that people were looking for pieces of cut fabrics and stuff that um, that they can choose a variety of styles for their junk journal covers. So in this kit, every piece of fabric that I have in here is not only vintage or handmade, which you'll see the first item, um, but each piece is cut from 12 and a half inch to 12 and a half inch piece. So you can choose your own cover, um, junk journal cover, or just cut those pieces up for fabric pieces in your junk journal, you know, that you're creating tabs or pockets or what have you so this one here is crazy huge i just got the fabrics in here this is whole thing so far is just the fabrics um in this kit there's all kinds of fabrics there's feed sack fabrics there's uh different kinds of linens in here um the first piece which i'm going to show you here in a minute is um cut from a vintage handmade quilt um it's like i said every piece is 12 and a half by 12 and a half um totally vintage and um i i think you guys are gonna love it um i know i am <laughs> so i will show you the first piece this here is um a cut that every kit will have of a vintage quilt that i've cut up i know some will be like you cut up a vintage quilt it was just the top of the quilt it wasn't a finished quilted quilt but look at the fabric pieces in there totally vintage garden that is what my whole goal was for this kit Again, like I said, the size is 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Oh, this is my zoom. Um, and so, just beautiful pieces, as you can see. It was quilted. It looks like it's machine quilted, but no, it's gorgeous. Either you could make it into a cover, or you can cut it up for pockets or whatever you think you want for your kit. Um, each kit will have a uh, either a hanky or a napkin or an embroidered hanky or napkin. Um, so this kit, this one here has this one. I'll just leave the whole entire piece in there because you might want to use this fabric for something or the bottoms or cut it up any way you want or heck, make it into a cover. Especially this one, I will open it up to show you. Look at the size. It's gorgeous. So I wanted this kit to be about choices. Um, every kit will have... a. Uh, a piece of this. This is a vintage um, embroidered um, piece that um, has not only vintage fabrics in it, um, but someone hand stitched all that. Look at that. Bring it up there. I that my zoom just kind of like, this is feed sack fabric. Look at that. All those little hand stitches. So yeah, every kit will have one of those. And either you said, either making it into a cover of some sort or cut it in different pieces for different pockets or whatever. I had to get some linens. So I'm gonna move this box with the zoom. You can kind of see more of what you got going on here. Um, each kit will have uh, different types of linen tablecloth pieces too. All I said, every one of these are 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Um, and there could be like two or three of these in here. Um, most of them be two, I think, but each piece will have like a rose piece. I don't know if you can see that okay. Isn't it gorgeous? Like I said, either turn into covers or cut them up into pieces. It's totally up to you. I wanted you guys to have the variety and selection. Here's some yellow, just simply yellow. Use it towards retro or use it towards your, like I said, floral garden. 
and then green. It's like a wicker basket. But I picked the green because, you know, the green will look really good. It'll bring out the greens um, with the roses. Get in the center here. And like the yellow, because each kit should have a yellow piece. Just really nice, thick quality pieces here. Um, I figure the yellow will go with the yellow really well. I want to give you guys a variety and coordinates. Like, for instance, if you did the outer cover in that, you maybe want to do the inside of your book with the yellow. I don't know. It's totally up to you guys. But I just wanted to give you guys a variety, which is all that was my whole goal. Making a mess here. Then, of course, I did the, the blues. I said they're really nice size pieces. They're gorgeous. And then, of course, my favorite is daisies. I love daisies. And you get a, an opportunity to just to pick out your pieces and, you know, cut them out or use them as a whole. Just fresh vintage garden. There's another, like, tablecloth linen one. It's gorgeous. It's almost like a, a whole, like, floral basket I'm offering you here. A variety of different pieces. There's another nice, cool yellow. I'm a fan of yellows. Of course, I love my roses. It's another tablecloth piece. I think they're perfect book covers, thickness and all. It's gorgeous. It's like this reminds me of morning glories. Of course, a lot of different floral, like a floral basket. It's my whole goal. But uh, the fabric weight is, is crazy heavy. It's like over a half a pound of fabrics um, and pieces. Sorry, excuse the wrinkles. Um, every kit will have a piece of like a vintage tablecloth piece, which is great. You can use for your Victorian theme. I've seen people do all kinds of different things where they layer it. and um, But it's like a nice piece of handmade vintage lace. This is gorgeous, I think. Left the scallops on the edges in case you didn't want to use it as a cover. For instance, here's another piece of tablecloth that would be in there as well. It's, I don't know if the, the, the color you can see well, but it has these different floral, like raised, almost like embossed fabrics um, that you can cut out in diamond form or pocket form or leave as a whole as a, as a book cover. But what's really cool about it is like if you use the lace, you don't even have to use the whole lace piece. Use it as like a corner piece. Leave the scallops. I'm sure you guys will figure out what you want to do with it, but it's a nice 12 and a half by 12 and a half piece. So we have all these different fabrics. This is just like I said, a sneak peek. Um, just to give me an idea. I'm just working on fabrics right now. This video main goal is to uh, allow you guys to pre-order. Um, they'll be done in a week or so. Um, but, um, like I said, everyone will have these different kinds of handmade quilted book covers, all kinds of beautiful pieces. This is just the fabrics right here. Um, some more embroidery. I will definitely will have, um, every kit will have some seam binding. It would be like the soft colors, like you'll have the entire pack. It's like three yards. Each kit will have some, uh, nice, beautiful vintage woven ribbons. Each cut, I think, is between six and eight inches. I know this here is like 12. You'll have laces, of course. Ephemera. Right now, this one I'm just working on. Everyone will have like 15 pieces. Everyone will have a vintage postcard. Each one is different. Um, I'm still working on the ephemera packs. Of course, you have some playing cards. You get these your nice new cards with some beautiful envelopes. Um, that pack alone is going to be like 15 pieces, 15 to 20. You'll have stamps. I have a couple Etsy shops that are going to be throwing in some really cool, neat things that I'm not going to tell you about. It's going to be more of like a, a secret until I do a, a video unboxing. But, um, so far this is what I have. And look, it's just so much. I want to ruin my papers here. Sorry about that. It's so much in this box. It's going to weigh at least a pound or so. 
So if you're international, you can message me. I can make a smaller weight in fabrics or something that's not going to be as heavy. So then it's affordable for you unless you, you know, um, want the full weight. It's up to you. But I know shipping costs is different for you guys. But um, I just want to give you a sneak peek, guys. Um, there's a whole bunch more going into this. And I have a few surprises, and I just can't wait to show the actual unboxing. But so the reason, like I said, I did this video is those who want to pre-order their kits before they are out, you could do that. Um, they won't ship for a week or so. But um, so after this video, there will be a link at the bottom of the page. Just click on that, and you could pre-order your package now. You guys have a wonderful day. I hope you like.